morning, morning Chargers. Chargers. This is Daniel. And Max. And welcome back to another day of WR Sun. In today's show, we'll be covering the value of joining the Gaming Competition Club and updates on the upcoming dodgeball tournament. Let's get right into it. The Gaming Competition Club gives students the opportunity to bond with each other and take a break in the middle of their school day. Let's go to Sebastian and hear from the president of the club and has the benefits on students. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We mostly play games. It gives a, gives a relaxing, different sort of pace compared to the rest of the cycle of life. Have one thousand, you know, you got all these stressful classes. This club sort of serves as a way to like de-stress from it all and to play games. We play Smash Bros. mostly, sometimes Street Fighter, but mostly games where most of the members can play games. We do some stuff at home. For example, one of the officers started a balance team, but we mostly do stuff here in class. Thanks, Sebastian. If you're interested, be sure to come to room 3116 today during lunch to participate in the one and only gaming club at Suncoast. Participate to in party games, to watch movies, and learn about the varsity team of tryouts. Speaking of games, the deadline to complete forms, sign up, and pay for the Diamond Days Dodgeball Tournament has been extended until Friday. Only one person from your team needs to upload the form to be sure to send your team captain your completed permission slip and a picture of each of your GoFan.com receipts or else you will not be eligible to play. Be sure to look at the slides for information on where you can fill out the required information. Now let's take a look at what clubs are happening today. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Now let's hear from Darnell about sports. What's up Chargers? Welcome back to the sports segment of our show. Yesterday, Varsity Baseball took home the win against Treasure Coast, finishing the game 6-2. Boys Volleyball played against Jupiter and unfortunately came just shy of defeating the Warriors with the game ending 2-3. Girls Lacrosse also saw an unfortunate loss competing against Boca Raton, who were ranked the 16th best team in Florida. Putting up their best effort, the girls finished with a score of 3-18. Best of luck to the members of track and field as well as the flag football team, both of which will be competing this afternoon. Track and field will have their meet at Palm Beach Gardens, Today at 4, flag football will be here at home facing off against Atlantic. JV at 6 and varsity at 7. That wraps up today's sports. See you guys at the games. Thanks, Darnell. Now let's switch our charge with a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chargers! Before we end today's show, we want you to remind you to order your yearbook now. Order yours at Balfour.com before they run out. Take a look at the slides to check if you've already purchased yours. That's all for today, Chargers. This has been Daniel. And Max. Thanks for tuning in. in.